everyone, it's Miss Carol, and we are on lesson 14 of our Sunday School Google Classroom, and our theme today is Bring Glory to God. Our scripture comes from 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 4 through 10. So if you have your Bibles handy and can read along with me, that would be wonderful. All righty, 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 4 through 10. I'll begin. As you come to him, the living stone, rejected by humans, but chosen by God and precious to him, you also, like living stones, are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For in scripture it says, See, I lay a stone in Zion, a chosen and precious cornerstone, and the one who trusts in him will never be put to shame. Now to you who believe, this stone is precious. But to those who do not believe, the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, and a stone that causes people to stumble, and a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the message, which is also what they were destined for. But you, who are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you have not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Well, that was a wonderful scripture, wasn't it, boys and girls? Yeah. So, our theme, bring glory to God. Perhaps you've heard Pastor Jeremy or someone else at church talk about Jesus as the cornerstone. Ever wonder what that really means? I mean, after all, our church's name is Cornerstone Faith Community Church. A cornerstone is a big brick that is placed, where do you think? Yeah, you guessed it, at the corner of a building when it is being built. If these cornerstones are not placed properly, the entire building will fall apart. But when the cornerstone is placed properly and it fits securely, the whole building is secure. This is what Jesus means to our faith. Without Jesus, we will be rocky, unsteady, and very likely to fall down. But with Jesus, we are strong and secure and we can stand tall. But there is so much more to Jesus' role as the cornerstone of our faith than just making us into a sturdy building. Jesus also shows how we can bring glory to God. As the cornerstone of the church, what we see Jesus do, we should be doing too. Back in the 1990s, before any of you were ever born, there used to be a saying, what would Jesus do? The idea of that saying was that no one, that no matter what we had to decide, no matter how big or small the decision, we should always ask ourselves, what would Jesus do in this situation? When we ask this question, guess what we find out? Jesus will always love. Jesus will always help. He'll, he'll love everyone. He'll help everyone. And Jesus will always care for everyone. And because of this, Jesus was willing to die for everyone. That's what makes Jesus the real cornerstone of our faith. He shows us how to bring glory to God. When we love others, and we help those who need help, and we care for those who are sick, oh, God is very happy. The people we help might ask us, why are you helping me? Our answer should always be, because God always helps me, and I want him to help you too. I know that God is working through me, 
to help you. So when we care for someone who doesn't feel well, or help a friend who has fallen down, or give a hug to someone who is sad, we've done exactly what Jesus would do. And we've brought glory to God. <coughs> Excuse me, boys and girls, I had a tickle in my throat. How true is that? I hope you're always willing to help others, boys and girls. And I hope you'll always remember that God is with you every second, every minute, every hour of every day. This week, on Sunday, is Mother's Day. So I hope that you'll give your mom a big hug, not because she's sad, but because you love her and you want her to know that you love her. I hope you'll maybe make something for mom, maybe a card, something that will... That, that you've put forth effort so she knows that you love her. And I hope you have a wonderful day with your mom. And if you have a grandma and you spend time with her, re remind them that you love them. And also, boys and girls, remember to tell God that you love him. Take time out during your, your busy week at school and your activities. Take time out for God. Tell him that you love him. And remember to keep those ears open so that you can hear God when he's talking to you. So boys and girls, I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day. And until the next time we meet, blessings to you all. Bye. Take care.